Oh, good day and welcome to Farming Life Australia. I'm going to do a review today of two Chinese chainsaws, the Borma Rag uh, 62cc chainsaw, which I've had for quite a while and has been okay. I've had a few little minor things, but nothing wrong with the engine or that. And this one called the Perla Barb. What actually happened was in summer I've discovered that the saws are generally a little bit cheaper so I thought oh, I'll get another one of these Bormarag saws just in case that over winter when I do a lot of firewood cutting this one plays up or whatever and um, you know I mean for the price of it you can't expect it to go forever so and it has done a, a year's work so I thought oh well I'll get another one and that way I won't get stuck you know we go out a fair way away to get wood sometimes and I don't want to be mucking around coming back to the farm for a hundred dollar chainsaw. To cut a long story short I got on the site where I bought this saw which was a mob called Edison's. Went to get another one and that's where the fun really started. The saw was advertised before I logged in as free delivery. Uh, I think it was 125 bucks and then it had 20% off so it looked like a really good deal. And I'll show you how the wheels fell off there and why in the end I thought, nah, I'm not going to buy anything more off them. When you click on the site for the chainsaw where I bought it before, at the moment it says uh, take 20% off. And the price for this particular chainsaw is, um, it's a 62cc chainsaw, is $125. Now 20% of $125 by my, by my reckoning is $25. So that's alright. You take off your EDS 17, well it's $17.80. The total lies up the top there or haven't been able to figure it out or something. So you take your 20% off and then which takes it to a, a, around a hundred dollars and then you got to add seventy two dollars for the postage to me this just seems like some sort of rubbish marketing ploy they're going to make more enemies than friends with it I can tell you after my experience with the Bormarag saw and trying to buy another one I thought nah they can stick it so I went looking and I have dealt with this company Jono and Jono a fair bit so I saw had a look what they had for sale and um, I wound up buying one of these because the company I've dealt with before as I said and they've always been good and um, they've got 10% off and it is 10% $16.90 is 10% of $169 and the postage is free and it was free so at least they're telling the truth on their site so I bought this Pearl of Barb chainsaw from Jono and Jono and so far it really seems to go well, I, I quite like it, I, I'm impressed with it. Um, it's 61.5 cc's and as I said the uh, Bormarag 62 cc's. So I'll take them down, fuel them up, oil them up, take them down and see if they start. Both these chainsaws are what they call e-start. And I'm not sure exactly how the system works, but it feels as if when you pull the handle you're actually winding a spring. And then that's, once it gets enough tension it turns the motor over. And uh, they are easy to start, as long as you haven't got a broken fuel line or a defective spark plug or something. I haven't had a real lot of trouble with starting either of them. As you can see, both these stores start, no worries. Um, this saw is a lot newer, and it's got a lot more wood to cut in this demonstration, which is probably a bit unfair on it, but anyway, I do like this saw. It's a well-balanced saw. It reminds me a lot of the Husqvarna saw, actually. I've got one of them, and it reminds me very much of it. This is typical of what I use these saws for, mostly cutting firewood timber or timber for biochar. And a lot of the time I have one in the back of the ute because when I'm going around checking fences etc, I often find a tree's gone over a fence or 
something that needs trimming up so I, they're very handy to have in the back of the ute. What you actually get with these chainsaws, with the Bormerag, you get the saw, you get that cover that's on the 20 inch bar, and you get some, you get a tool to do the, um, adjust the chain and the spark plug, and you get some safety gear, you get goggles, you get a uh, set of gloves, and some earmuffs, and they're all extremely low quality and about as useful as a ashtray on a motorbike but the actual saw look you know it's been good the actual saw itself has been good I have had a few minor issues um, I had the fuel line deteriorated and the fuel was all pissing out and I had to replace the fuel line this is not the original chain the original chain didn't last very long at all and it um, it was soft on one side, so when you sharpen it, it, after a few cuts, it cut round in circles. The bar is fairly low quality, and I've had to close the gap up here to make the chain fit. The gap in the bar was so wide that I had to dress it to try and reduce the gap so I could put another chain on it. I tried to buy another chain and bar. Unfortunately, you can't go to a normal mower or chainsaw shop and buy a bar easily that'll fit this saw. However, what I didn't know, and I wish I had at the time, Jono and Jono sell all the parts for this saw. Edison's the, the Edison's that sell it don't. They sell some parts, but Jono and Jono have a wide range of parts for this saw, and in it they also have bars and chains at a reasonable price. The other thing I had go wrong with this Bormerag was that the chain adjuster which you adjust in that little hole is on a worm drive and I've had a fair bit of trouble with that. Um, they're very delicate or to me they are and it's not hard to strip if you're not careful. The, the Pearl of bar Barb does not have a, a little worm drive it has a screw down here and you, it just go straight onto a thread and you adjust it. Very easy to replace if it ever buggered up. And um, again, Jono and Jono, I got all the parts for this saw. That was one thing I did check. In their advertising it says that they have all the parts for it. It's got a 12 month warranty. I actually checked if they do have the parts on their website. And they, they do. So uh, I like that feature because if it breaks, you know, and you can't get a part for it, well it's useless. So the Pearl of Barb saw comes with a case. Doesn't come with any safety gear. It comes with a nice case. And look, you know, the safety gear was useless in the other one anyway. And I really wrapped in this case. You know, it's not it's not a million dollar case, but it's a good sturdy case and it keeps the weather out, keeps the rain off. It happened to get caught in the rain. It has fairly good quality metal clips. Just open the case up, saw comes out, <coughs> take your chain protector off and you'll see that the bar on this says Hurricane. Um, I see that Jono and Jono sell these bars for all sorts of saws, not just the Pearl of Barb. They sell them for the Bormerag. Uh, they sell them for European saws like Husqvarna, they sell them for still saws. And the chain so far has been perfect, I haven't had any issues with the chain. The chain when I got it is the sharpest chain I've ever had anything to do with and if you're going to play with these chains, just be really careful because man are they sharp. About the end of this episode of Farming Live Australia, the starter said are Chinese saws any good? I think yes they are. For a firewood saw, I use mine a lot for bits of carpentry, meaning yard work like big posts, mortising big posts. They're light, they go alright, 
I, like really, you know, I couldn't complain for the price of them. They're excellent. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Live Australia. We'll see you next time.